Okay, thank you very much. Um, my name is Luis Amesti, for those who doesn't know me. Uh, today I will talk about uh, some kind of uh, pyrrole pruning. Uh, is um, more than uh, talk about the plugin is talk about the experience that I have uh, developing a payroll for a company in Venezuela. I am from Venezuela and uh, actually I am living in Spain. Here you can have my contacts if you want to to talk to me or to write to me for I have been writing some some other information in the wiki page and uh, some other plugins that are available for community. But the, this particular plugin is a uh, is more an experience that uh, I developed for a company. Uh, the name is Tamanaco. Tamanaco is a manufacturer for uh, goods, sport goods, and uh, they sell. Uh, in the Caribbean area, in Colombia, in Venezuela, and uh, some uh, in the south of the United States. Okay, but they, ha they have the um, manufacturing in Colombia and Venezuela. And they decided to implement Eden Pierre with me uh, about five years ago. And uh, I uh, run some financial and um, um, cash and banks and some other um, plugins. But this particular one is uh, one that, that I migrated from an old version. And uh, they put some requirements additionally. Uh, company has a uh, location in Venezuela, 250 workers. They have uh, different contracts uh, when I say about contract, I think the terms where the payment is done, weekly, monthly, bi-weekly, uh, some directors that uh, have uh, special payments, and sales representatives. Okay. They also have uh, attendance, attendance on some uh, particular small manufacturing places. So they have, uh, particularly they have uh, six locations. And they also want to wanted to make a production costing that is uh, very important when uh, when you relate uh, uh, payroll with uh, accounting and uh, production cost. It's important to to have related with the labor that the people do on different areas. And uh, also the most important thing is that the uh, user must be able to modify all the concepts, because not constantly um, the rules, uh, government rules, government law is changing and uh, they have to make changes to the um, rules, to the uh, pay payment, and uh, they, they, they have to be able to <coughs> modify. Okay. And also, uh, one of the most important thing is that in the, in the payroll, um, system, uh, we have uh, confidential information <coughs> that has to be uh, very controlled by role people. So it's important to have a role access control to all the script, to all the windows, to all the reports, to all the tasks that people do with the payroll. That's a very key important um, to to accomplish because confidential is a is a, is a um, very important thing to to take into account. Okay. <coughs> Let's check this. this, this one. Okay. Uh, let's let's talk about some definition <coughs> before we get into the the plugin. Okay, that what we call a payroll process, a contract, a receipt generation, posting and reactivation on this uh, uh, particular um, 
What is a payroll process? Payroll process uh, for this um, analysis is an accounting set of accounting documents or payments that has to be done to a group of workers for a particular organization. Uh, when we talk about the payroll process, we are talking about payroll payment, vacation, bonus, food ticket, uh, social benefits, all of this uh, kind of uh, process. Okay. When we talk about contract types, we are talking about uh, frequency in payment. Okay, We have uh, several um, employees that have a payment weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, or uh, eventually, depends on the on the process that uh, you have or different contract that you have or kind of people you have. Uh, one important thing is that the receipts for the payroll has to be generated uh, as quickly as possible under a um, predefined procedure just to have less impact in the user uh, interaction with the system. Okay. The payroll periods uh, have to be uh, predefined in conjunction with fiscal year uh, definition of the ERP. Okay. They are defined by contract, by process, and by uh, all the, the, the different uh, process and contract that we have in the, in, the, in the company or in the organization. Another important thing that uh, is very interesting in this um, system is that uh, I can make a posting and reactivation of the uh, receipts. Uh, because sometimes uh, uh, we have to reprocess uh, something because uh, we made mistake. And uh, also uh, I have to prepare the payments or prepare the receipts. They have to be revised by a, a higher uh, management and after that they they have to be set to the accounting but sometimes especially where receipts don't receive that doesn't affect uh, money payment okay, they, because we are talking about uh, the processes that are related with payment but there are some other processes that only affect accounting uh, facts inside the organization and uh, I have to be able to uh, reprocess them or recalculate them or make uh, some uh, adjustment to the formula or something that uh, went back. But okay. in this case, uh, payment concepts uh, are based on formulas, scripts, JavaScript particularly. I select JavaScript because it's the most easy uh, language to the end user. Because if you put a user to make a, a sentence, uh, probably have a script is a more easy way to do it. But additionally, when we have a payroll receipt, we have a payment concept, but we also have a quantity. And normally that quantity is, uh, is uh, it has to be automated. It has to be automatically generated in order to reduce the time that the user interact with the system. The quantity is the variable of the formula, but the quantity itself is a formula, a JavaScript formula. So when, the, when I create the receipt, the, the receipt executes the code that is related with the default value and put the value on the receipt. Okay, we will see some samples about. Uh, one important thing that I introduce is the calculation order. Okay, if you see a payroll receipt, normally you have uh, concepts, payment concepts, quantity, uh, debit and credit, or payment and, re and deduction. Okay, this uh, calc order will help me to perform the calculation of the formula uh, in the correct sequence in order to have less errors on uh, re like we have in Excel uh, recalc uh, problems. 
Okay, so we when we define the, the concepts, we define the order and they uh, are going to be calculated. Okay, but where the formulas take the values, for instance, uh, here we, we are talking uh, to a particular value here that is a variable. The variables can be many kind of variables inside the system. There are some public variables depending on the period dates, array variables. What array variables? When we look at the receive, an array variable is a value of the row before or any row before the other um, rows in the, in the receipt. Employee related attributes can be used as a, as, a, as a variable. Process and contract attributes, rules, we also uh, implement, uh, extend the rules uh, from IMPR, uh, uh, adding some uh, variables to improve uh, and adapt to this particular case. And this one, last period values, is a, is a new one that uh, I introduced because uh, sometimes um, they, people want to have a new attribute in the, uh, in the employee file. And uh, that will cause to, to make a continuously modification to the employee table. And uh, I, I decided to put values on the last receipt. That means that I can take uh, extract a value from the last receipt and have then an attribute in the variable formula. Okay? This is a, a list of uh, sample formulas that can be uh, variables that can be used inside uh, any formula. Okay. Um, this is the last value concept. Okay. Uh, I can have the the last value from the last receive or the result, the quantity or the result, because we have two, the quantity value, the default value, and the formula when the quantity is applied to the formula. One important thing is the, the rules. Rules, uh, because uh, rules are uh, defined in the, uh, in the EDMPR already and uh, I take the rules and uh, make uh, additional changes okay like this uh, like, uh, excuse me. like this uh, variables that uh, are related to the to the receive to the employee ID or to uh, employee income date or these variables and they produce the timing of uh, calculating in the rule, if I decided to use rule, so when I use rules, uh, rule variables are defined uh, like this syntax, rule variables underscore. Okay. Additionally, um, we added this concept uh, workforce because uh, when we, uh, we work with uh, cost, production cost, we need to have um, sales, administrative, direct labor, uh, in, indirect labor, and management by separate. And uh, I have to do it by each employee task or each employee um, uh, station where the employee is, is working. Well, finally, um, integrating all these concepts, uh, the idea was built, uh, the main idea, uh, built a window that looks like uh, practically an Excel spreadsheet where the employee, where the user can make the receipt uh, just um, affecting some uh, few quantities, some few rows in the, in the window. Okay. It's uh, like having um, an order or an invoice the same, heading and lines. Okay, but uh, like Linus said, uh, cheap, talk is cheap. Let's show me the code. I will show you 
uh, in direct in how this uh, is going here in the in the system. If you have any question, uh -huh. um, how is different this barrel from the one that we used to have in the community? Are you working in that one that we have available? No. Is this like an no. No, I, I did I uh, already um, make a revision of this uh, tubing, <laughs> and uh, I um, when I saw you the um, the finition that the customer put to me that they has to be modified by the user, and I have uh, some doubts about uh, uh, role access. How how can I control uh, some um, users to have information for different? Uh, payrolls, contracts, for instance, uh, I have a user uh, specific for making uh, weekly contracts, but I have a user specific for making um, director payroll, so I didn't know how to make on that provision, so I decided to to make a new from scratch, and... Um, uh, so you are not using the, no. the, the one that we have in the community at all? No, so this is it's a new one. From scratch. Yes. Okay. Uh, new tables and uh, a new um, a new concept. The only thing that I am importing is the rules, the, but the rules are already in Idempier. Okay, but the rules also they are a little bit uh, slow because uh, they have you have you have to write a lot of code by each uh, concept. So when you are ma making uh, a lot of um, uh, receipts, it takes time to calculate. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, sorry, but that means then that because normally payroll is quite country specific, right? But yeah. with these, yes, with, co with this kind of configurability, with these rules, as you call that, it should be usable for many other countries, right? <laughs> yes, uh, yes, I, I will show you how the formulas are built and uh, uh, to use in a different country. It's a matter of making different formulas. Mm -hmm. the, the variables are the same. Probably uh, for one specific uh, country, we ha I have to define one, one more variable, but I define in the main class, and that's it. The rest of things, I don't have to ma modify anything on the plugin. OK, uh, let's see some windows. Um, These are a sample of uh, process, okay? different processes. That uh, they are normally uh, generic processes and that can be used in many countries. But uh, if you have additional one, um, it, it can be added to the to the uh, put a new tag. The last tag is used for uh, discriminating the code between the plugin to make uh, some business rules different. The contracts, um, I define there uh, basically the days and uh, initial day of the week and some, some other parameters. Okay, I will show you an example of the window that the user, when the user get in, okay, uh, before that, uh, let me have the This <coughs> the payroll role access. The payroll role access is a kind of a ma matrix for payrolls, process payroll contracts, and item payrolls. So, and this uh, on this window, I decide which particular contract and which particular process a user uh, have access, and this uh, is uh, used to filter. Uh, windows information and um, procedures parameters using validation codes and uh, reports and anything can be uh, filtered using this table. So when the u any user gets into the system, uh, has a profile. Okay, a profile means that the user see only the processes that he is able to do. After he select the process, then they the system show. The, the contracts available to him, to this particular user, okay? In this uh, case, I am using uh, 
one monthly and one weekly, I put a tag. I'm sorry about the tax, it's Spanish tax, but as you understand me, it's the same monthly and, we and weekly. Okay, also the periods, periods are predefined in conjunction with uh, fiscal uh, years. Okay, particularly each receipt have an accounting date, like any other document in Idempier. So uh, fiscal uh, are, um, excuse me, periods are related to uh, accounting facts that will be applied to that period. And uh, there are some attributes, and the uh, master user can filter uh, which uh, periods uh, this user is able to see, uh, just in case when the period is closed, when a payroll uh, period is completely closed, the, the main roll close that period and the user never, never see it anymore. Okay? And here, for example, let's, say, let's select, if, if I say I see this one, the January period, I see that these uh, three uh, payroll uh, receipts have been completed and posted. And this one is, uh, is already on draft, is on preparation. Okay? And if I select uh, one of them, then I have here the quantities and the amount calculated. Okay? Remember that I told you about the quantity value is the default value previously calculated when the receipt is created. And the amount allocated or deducted, depending on the, on the sign of the concept, is calculated with the formula, with the concept for formula. Okay, let's show you uh, this, uh, this sample. Okay, this is a quick, uh, easy sample that uh, I, I want to model here to see uh, how the formulas is uh, running. Okay, we have a very simple salary payment of three concepts. Okay. The first one is just a reference. It's a line where I indicate uh, where is the basic salary. Okay? And the formula, the formula is a constant. Cn means quantity. And the default value, I took the basic salary of the, of the employee. Is it greater than the minimum value from a table that is uh, previously calculated as a variable in the class. So in this particular case, we are talking about a very simple if sentence that can be easily modified by a user. Okay? You just tell them. The second one, for instance, the formula is still have a, a quantity. And the default value is, depending on the contract, is also a reference that uh, will represent the working days. Uh, in the case of monthly, it's 30. In the case of uh, by uh, I mean, quincenal, it's quincenal in English. By weekly. By, by weekly. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, and uh, weekly and default. Okay. And it's very easy. Okay. Let's see at the salary. Okay. The salary. The formula is an expression. Very simple expression. Quantity from salary base, that is this concept. So the quantity that's here will be taken in the formula. And the quantity from this concept will be taken in the formula. <coughs> and the CN that represents the variable of the formula is 1. And you put 1. And this formula will calculate uh, this uh, value divided by, depending, uh, in this particular case, uh, we are talking about the daily salary by the days, multiplied by the days, uh, multiplied by one, that is the default value. Okay, and finally, I put an additional uh, concept uh, that is a um, formula a little bit depending on the, uh, on the days attended Okay, if he attended 90%, uh, I will give an extra 20%. If 
if the user attend the 50%, they will have additional payment of 15%. Uh, if uh, it's less than 50%, uh, extra <coughs> bonus will be zero. So this way, you prepare all the all the concepts. Okay. Let's see the sample here. Okay. If I decide to make uh, a new here, uh, I, I have modified this value. If I modify this value, okay, then uh, the callout will cal calculate all the um, formulas that I have uh, um, prepared previously. Okay. I also have a procedure <coughs> to create uh, one document if I want to just create this receive okay uh, here is where the um, concept may uh, Pedro the, where the concept made by rules take a lot of time yeah, but, but here uh, the variables are calculated in the class and the formulas in JavaScript are very quick very fast okay. so I have the possibility to create all the receipts <coughs> for one period. So the user uh, will create this one and they, the user only have to modify the values okay, here. If I put here, for instance, 15 days, it still have on the, on the bonus, okay? But if I put uh, 10 days, Well, this is not a, a very difficult thing to show you, but uh, the key fact here is that uh, uh, is, it can be modified very easily by the user, in this case, the formula, because it's uh, JavaScript and, okay. Any question? Mm. How long uh, calculate for 200 employees? Uh, well, I have a measure depending on the, the server that you have and the, the memory and this kind. But uh, I have measured with this particular, uh, it's take uh, about uh, 35 seconds, uh, between 35 seconds and one minute, depending on the complexity of the, of the um, formulas and the na number of concepts that you have, okay? But uh, uh, I still have to make some uh, improvement on, the, on this because uh, the class is called uh, recursively uh, and I have to probably clean some uh, repeated uh, um, instructions made on. But, uh, I, I'm sure that uh, it, I, when I use rules values, uh, I use rules values for, for another process, that is um, other benefits, um, a final payment that is used in Venezuela. And uh, I already write the, the rules I will show you. It takes more time to, to create a receipt. You will see. Mm -hmm. um, we, we were suffering, and I would say suffering, with the previous uh, payroll uh, code. I know. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, the code just need a lot of fixes, but we did it for a couple of customers. And maybe uh, a couple of the things that I am really curious about your experience here. First is the rules, per se, because for an end user, our assumption was that having a small script is not a big issue, something like that, at the end of the day, it's an issue. We were using the shell, and we were using the rules engine. So my question here is, how actually are you debugging these rules here? So if you have a semicolon problem, semicolon, because for our customers, it's, it's kind of a non-realistic thing. Well, They just have the small things here, the small things there, and they get a mess. So. Yes. You really need a developer something to do that from that perspective. Yes. I just want to see how do you do that here? What, what kind of skills do you really need to have this 
if you have something really small there, or are you getting some additional output some, or lock or something like that? Yes. Sometimes the users, my experience is uh, initially uh, when I started, I told you that uh, user oriented modified is uh, one of the, of the key definition. But uh, that's a quote. The user normally they modify something, some small things because they otherwise they. Um, they call me or they call uh, some uh, other guys that work yeah, with me to, mo to make them, to make for them. But uh, uh, I am using an external JavaScript uh, interpreter because uh, in version, from version, uh, when I started version 2.1, I used a JavaScript uh, interpreter that is inside the, the code, the code. But uh, after version four, I don't know, I some modification that it was broken and I have to take a very simple Mozilla library and I put it inside the plugin and uh, I, I adjusted that. But it is a very old version of JavaScript. It's not a, a very complex. And it's giving you, let's say, a good feedback if something is broken, something is failing? Well, the, it depends. Uh, Sometimes the, the user um, try to to make it, and many times they do, about 90%. Okay, but it's, it, this kind of things is uh, much better to do than the, what, what that I'm going to show you. Um, okay. Okay, on the, on the reports, I told you that uh, the rules are used to to control the information that is able to be uh, modified, viewed, or uh, reported by the user, depending on the roles in the organization. Okay, and uh, I will show you a sample of the uh, where I have a role access using uh, a parameter in the. Um, Dyna dynamic validation, using dynamic validation, I filter uh, the reports, the reports uh, written, uh, I, I just filter the parameters and the parameters are associated with the matrix table of uh, processes, contract, and uh, hidden peer roles. Uh, any question? How much the time? Uh -huh. What is uh, the process to uh, work, the workflow to work with that? At the end of the month, I have like 50 or 100 employees, and I have seen that I have to enter the things in the fourth detail level. Um, so I have to go into every employee to the fourth level, enter the numbers. Okay, when, okay, when the invoice, or how does it work? Is there a short track? Okay, when I, uh, you mean, you are talking when I prepare the receipts. Yeah. Okay, this, uh, in this sample I have three employees, okay? So you have the period here, and all these receipts uh, were generated by a process. And you only modify uh, one by one if you had to modify one element of the, but the ma main, um, the base of the, the receipt is done. Okay, there is a um, an attribute and the concept that defines if the concept is fixed, is variable, is shown on the receipt. There, there are some uh, elements that uh, are used by the by the process in order to build the receipt, and uh, also where they apply. Yes, you may come. By a process every yes. month. I will show you uh, how to create, for instance. Okay. You, you, change, you change the year trabajar, the work and day, to 10. Does it calculate uh, automatically the salary or these are just initial no. variables? No, the salary is a basic variable, it's a reference value. This is the salary of the job, of the employee. I didn't modify because if I modify the salary here, then all the rest. Below them because then the calculation order is is established, okay? But uh, the salary is is 
it's coming by default. Okay, but uh, normally I modify a uh, few lines in the receipt because others are bring it uh, by default from the default value that I um, write in the formula. But, but uh, if you change the working days, that affects the bonus? And yes, that's why I show you. If I modify here to 25, then I will find. Mm -hmm. Okay. One, one technical question. Uh, JavaScript can execute uh, Java code uh, from, no. from the code? No, I am. Uh, uh, the, the, the class is a Java code. Okay, and I execute the rule, the, the text, after putting the values on the variables, I execute. Uh, but but maybe in the JavaScript, where, where you write the JavaScript code, uh, that code can call Java classes? No. That code is called from the Java main class and put the variables inside the, the, the code and uh, solve it, uh, get the result of this expression. The, 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 my question is because I have a big complaint about Libero. Uh -huh. Is that using bin shell you can execute uh, SQL and drop a table yeah? with a rule? Right. So that's, uh, if, if you can not do that with JavaScript, it's better. Yeah, because JavaScript is easy and it's uh, light. Okay, let me show you uh, um, rules. You can also use rules that I want to try to show you um, before. Um, is, uh, is your question clear, Thomas? Yes, thanks. Okay, I I, I wanted to to show you how to create uh, um, the receipt for a period that I haven't touched. Okay, we have this period, and if I uh, create documents, okay, I I create all the documents for this period. Okay, with the default values and with the the formula. Okay, here. This is a new table. The payroll invoice is standard. What? Payroll invoice is not C invoice. It's a new no, it's a new. It's a complete model new. Okay. Okay. More question. And could we see maybe the main tables that are completely new? Yes, I'm really interested also because I have been working with this Libero version. I see that there are common things that you are using here, like the concept, uh, like some of the rules. Yeah, so Only the rules, uh, the rules yeah, execute. That, that's what it would be interesting, maybe just to see what are the main tables so that we, yes. libero, so we can compare. Yes, I am using uh, rules like this, okay? And uh, in one particular process, um, because it's, uh, uh, I only have to I have to do one receive eventually because there are some processes uh, during the payroll. For instance, if uh, an employee asks you for a loan or an employee has to be released from the from the organization, you have to make the final payment, and that kind of process involves just one uh, document. Okay, and uh, when I make uh, one document, is uh, the same that I wait one minute or three because. Uh, we are not dealing with many uh, records, okay? So in this case, I use uh, rules, okay? And the uh, rules are defined same way that the rules in the item pair. Let me show you. Uh, okay, I am here with the director, so. <laughs> I'm not able to. Okay, this is the way. Okay, basically, rules for me is like any other variable in the JavaScript code. So I define the rules, and if this rule is defined in the system and is used in the formula, then the main class will calculate this rule returning the value depending on this code. 
like uh, like uh, the other plugin I, I think uh, it that clipper so in this uh, example that I um, prepare let me show you okay here these are uh, a set of concepts payroll concepts for a social benefit uh, final payment that is used in Venezuela okay and uh, here I am using uh, rules values this variable when the main class detect that a rule value is present then it calculates and returns the value from the rule but is not present it, <coughs> it, 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 it is not necessary to calculate okay so there is a kind of parser in the in the expression that uh, uh, determines determinates uh, which variables are going to be calculated just to reduce time and here I'm using uh, two um, three in this case three rule values already defined and these uh, rule values are um, modified by not by the user in this case in the same okay let's see the sample in the Okay. Excuse me. Social benefit process. I select the the period. And I select the okay. Here is the receipt that is created. Okay, but if I uh, this particular process <coughs> is a, is a process uh, not a massive process I mean I make one receipt at one moment so if I want to make a new receipt <coughs> okay, I put here who is the name of the employee and I generate the receipt and the receipt will take uh, all the the expressions already defined using this uh, particular uh, pay, pay, payment concepts. What, what kind of <coughs> reporting engine are you using for your reports? Are you using the print formats or just for Just per reference. Okay. Mostly re just per reference, yes. Yeah. All of them. Yes, because we just per well, well, we both say we have a um, control of a role access, uh, okay, as a parameter and a validation codes. And, uh, but uh, with Japan reports, uh, I define the, the report for uh, the administrator, all the information, and uh, uh, after that, I reduce depending on the parameters. Okay, I, we, I can show you uh, when I um, um, make a, a report, okay? Um, for instance, uh, error. Okay, here I select the process. Okay, I select the contract. If the user has access to the contract, it will be available in this combo using the validation code, and I select the period. Okay. Well, let me take a period. Okay. Okay. Any question? The rules? I define the uh, five rules on the. These are uh, quite example of the code. Uh, it, this take time because it, it includes a lot of um, a lot of classes, and they have to be tested. Test uh, each one is a very tough. Very, uh, very tough uh, to do. Okay, let's talk about the code. Okay, here uh, 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 the, the model is uh, based on uh, certified new tables. Okay, and uh, I using uh, model factory, process factory, and uh, 
call out, call out factory because some some of the interaction come from call outs. Okay. And uh, also some SQL functions and uh, views. Okay, here you have uh, all the just a sort for um, developer and uh, application dictionary in both. And here is basically uh, the main class. Okay, the, the main class can be called by a process, by a callout, or by by itself because it's a recursive uh, class that is um, called by by itself depending on the uh, calculation rule. Okay. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Yeah.